In this video, I'll show you how to cut your own hair, give yourself a buzz cut, save you tons and tons of money over your lifetime. If you don't have notable hair like me, anyways. So what did you go down and do? Is you buy yourself a um? Can you see? Can you see that sunbeam? It's kind of hard to see. Sunbeam made in the USA. I bought this probably oh 15 years ago, maybe. I don't remember. Nothing's made in the USA anymore, so. It's lasting me a long time, but it comes with attachments and stuff, and then you plug it into the regular cord. <clears throat> and that's the kind that makes the buzz and noise. So I never use any of the attachments because I always cut down to zero. Then you've got to buy some hair clipper oil. This bottle sold, it says made in the USA too, nothing's made in the USA. Um, this bottle has lasted me the same 15 years I bought it at the same time as I bought this. Now they do have spray for this. And this is critically important because this razor will jam up. So you got these little blades that go back and forth. It's buzzing now, I'm going to stop it. You see they've got blades that overlap each other. So before you start, you always oil down your razor. Now, and when you get done, you're going to oil it down too. So you put the oil, you unscrew the cap, sorry. I used to doing this so close up, but you just put your oil it'll drip very slowly across there. See the, the drip of the oil? Oops, sorry. So you drip it on the blade. Just maybe four drops across that whole blade. Hope you saw it. It's very hard to do on camera. So let me just show you. I'm not going to do it, but from far away, you just take that tip and oil it in between the blades. I put a little too much on this time, but then you run the motor. You want to make sure you get that oil in between those two blades. <clears throat> now, if the blades ever get jammed up, don't throw out your, your cutter. Just take those two screws, unloosen them. The plates will come apart. Just barely loosen the screws, and you just manually move the plates till they free, free themselves up, oil it down. So oil down them blades, the two blades that are going back and forth with each other. And then uh, tighten them back up, but don't over tighten them. And you can use it for years. I'm, they, it's jammed a lot, a lot of times on me, so. Next, get you a trash can, put your hair in. And you get yourself in front of a mirror. And I'm a little bit ambidextrous. I write with both hands anyways, but I'm going to try it like that. Okay. So you take off your glasses. Well, also, I don't think I did it already. I take a tissue and I wipe down the blade to get the, the excess oil off and the excess hair from last time or whatever. So you do that. Just take your tissue and wipe it off. Okay, now start. I start on the back of my head and work my way forward. Just do the best you can. Start the back of your head. And Work your way forward. There you go. Put your put your excess hair in the trash can as you go. Start it. Start at the back of your head. Sorry, it's very awkward doing it by yourself. Put <laughs> the back of your head. Work your way forward. Hair's probably gonna fall into the keyboard. <laughs> Keep on doing that. Um, <clears throat> you can have also somebody else do it for you, but I'm trying to do it myself. But neither is we going to be a little ambidextrous. Using my left hand, I'm normally right handed. Just follow your ear all the way around. I'm just going to let it hit the pair hit the floor this time. I'm going to put it in the trash can. So. Slowly move over about an inch at a time. 
So that is some. And then work your way up to your top. Go down to the base of your neck when you start out. That's part of it. Now let's say you try to look in the mirror and see where you saw, see the big parts that you missed. <laughs> Might be one of the funniest videos. So, there's another big part I missed. Let's see it. Try that. Just working your way over your top. Now, what you want to do. Sorry for making you seasick. <laughs> now you can get the fine hair to the ball, basically. Get the fine hairs on top and you can tilt your head up. So you can see the angle. And the last step, because you can't see behind your back, is you need to get a mirror. It would be nice if I cleaned it first. your mirror and now you're going to um, put this mirror this little mirror in back of you one of you see it. so you're gonna see try to angle where you can see the back of your head and use your other hand to cut this is probably the worst video I made but it's the most awkward so you're using this mirror to see the spots you missed. And then, if you are missing any spots, you go and ask your wife or brother, sister, or the kids to find any spots you missed. So, that's basically how you, uh, <laughs> so that's the back of a mirror. So that's, of course, you'd be, that's just to show you the mirror, but formally, you just, Bringing, bringing the mirror to the back of your head and using your other hand to cut. Now don't forget when you get done you can use a razor you can use a regular razor to get the little any little fine spots you miss so this is good for military and all that. So you're not done yet remember what I said you got to clean the hair and oil it for next time or otherwise it's going to rust up on you clean those blades so get your oil let's put a few drops just like you did at first the last one. let me turn it this way this time Maybe you see it better okay so take your oil get about four drops maybe overall like I say, there's sprays also. Oil down that blade. Got it turned off. Now run your blade. Get that oil in there. Because otherwise, like I say, it'll rust up because your hair's probably a little wet anyways. And then you take a shower. And that's how you cut your own hair. Saves you a lot of money. Ten bucks and it saves you time going down to the shop. It just saves you on gas. You don't have to give them a tip. <laughs> That's for people who have no hair anyways, but if you like this video, please, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to finish up getting the rest of this hair. I know it's screwed up, but that's basically how you do it. Thank you. Subscribe and like. And send me a little tip because I saved you a lot of money.